Certainly, here's the corrected and punctuated version of the paragraph. What are the chances of a Tesla stock repurchase happening soon? Experts say that if Tesla can produce 10 million vehicles per year with an operating profit of $15,000 per vehicle, that would be $150 billion in operating profit. If investors gave a 30 multiple off of that, that would be $4.5 trillion in market value. You get the gist, right? I hope you're following what I'm saying. But if you feel bombarded with numerical data, do not worry. We will dissect that in this video, so keep watching until the end and give us a like and subscribe. Let's keep the video going. As longtime Tesla believer Dave Lee stated, numerous Tesla investors have asked for a stock buyback. What is a stock buyback? It is when a company uses its cash to buy back shares of its stock from the market, increasing the percentage of ownership held by each investor. This is also known as a share repurchase. In 2021, Leo Kogan discreetly amassed one of the single most significant shares in Elon Musk's company. He revealed through a tweet in September of that year that the value of his presumed holdings had risen to $4.05 billion, $5.05 billion, and then more than $7 billion. A big deal of Elon's potential has been mission speculation on repurchase, which began in the middle of October, according to a tweet by Kogan, who said that a P-slash-E ratio compression at Tesla could be resolved only by a buyback and a twofold increase in earnings. Founder of SAI International and Indonesian-born billionaire, Leo Kogan, is a long-term Tesla bull who currently owns about 23 million, 200, and 1,500 shares of the EV company. Apparently, Leo Kogan has been a strong advocate for Tesla's share buyback. Musk replied, noted, which fueled speculation that Tesla could launch its first-ever share buyback. Also, a Twitter user Leo predicted that Tesla's market cap would skyrocket if the company repurchased $1 trillion in shares between 2026 and 2030, and has since tweeted that he hoped the company will repurchase another $1 trillion in shares between 2022 and 2026. The billionaire investor predicted that Tesla stock price could increase to $5,000 from $3,000 per share if a company repurchased a billion of its shares between 2026 and 2030 at $1,000 each. This would reduce the number of outstanding shares from 3.14 billion to approximately 2.14 billion. This news came as Tesla CEO Elon Musk sold more company shares to revoke Elon's sale of nearly $35.7 billion in Tesla stock. Leo declared in a tweet, It's a tremendous sum of money, but Tesla or Elon or both are doing buybacks at $35.7 billion due to Tesla's cash availability. I am only suggesting a buyback of $5 to $10 billion this year to maintain solid reserves in case it needs to be raised capital through bond sales or bank loans. Leo said, I acquired 52,300 shares in addition to the 23 million I already had. A buyback of Tesla shares is more out of the question than some may have you believe. According to David Lee, if Tesla produced 10 million vehicles annually at an operational profit of $30,000 per unit, the company would generate $150 billion annually. If investors multiplied that figure by 30, the company's value would rise to $4.5 trillion. Most of that money would be better spent on Tesla stock buybacks, said Lee, who further explains that Tesla has low capital expenditures demands and may allocate 80 to 90% of available funds for this purpose. Let's imagine that Tesla can buy back $150 billion of shares per year for the next four or five years. That's $600 to $750 billion, which isn't quite the $1 trillion that Leo claims, but several issues are at play here. For example, the operating profit per vehicle at Tesla can be $20,000 or more. If Tesla can sell 10 million vehicles annually, its operational earnings would increase by $250 billion, or $1.25 trillion over four to five years. With that kind of money, the company could buy back $1 trillion. Another thing that could work in Tesla's favor is the humanoid robot Optimus, which would go on sale as early as 2028 or 2029. If Tesla can ramp up production faster than most people expect, if Tesla successfully sold 20 million humanoid robots in a single year, it would generate $400 billion in operating income from Optimus alone. Multiply that by four years, and you have over $1 trillion. Put that option to use, buy Tesla stock. This presumption of buyback, however, is heavily contingent on Tesla's execution. As stated on the company's most recent quarterly earnings call, we've discussed the possibility of a stock repurchase, 
which Tesla CEO Elon Musk brought up. It has been discussed at length at the board level, and the board generally agrees that a repurchase would be good. Nevertheless, the company is still working out how to implement one. Although 2023 may prove to be a challenging year, Tesla still can undertake a $5 billion to $10 billion buyback, according to CEO Elon Musk. While this remains subject to board review and approval, we're likely to see some significant buyback. Musk said that it was crucial to think long-term despite the market, its team's emphasis on the immediate term. In another tweet, Leo explained how profitable it would be for Tesla to manufacture and market its little robo-taxi, saying that the company could make $200,000 annually by charging $100,000 per FSD to individual owners and $20 to $40 in fees. We have been hearing about Tesla's robo-taxi concept for quite a few years, but it seems like we're getting close to finally becoming a reality. Here's everything we know about the robo-taxi, CEO Elon Musk's master plan, Part Duke, published in 2016. At the time, the concept was touted as normal Teslas with full FSD capability. Once Tesla achieved full self-driving, they would create a Tesla network taxi service that would make use of both Tesla's own vehicles and customer cars that would be hired out when not in use. In April 2022, however, at the inauguration of Tesla's new factory in Austin, Texas, Musk made headlines by announcing that the company would be working on a dedicated robo-taxi vehicle that would be quite futuristic looking. During the earnings call, there was no mention of the sensor sweep that Tesla is considering for the vehicle or whether it would use a modified version of the company's full self-driving software to navigate its surroundings autonomously. Their current approach relies solely on a camera system, unlike other automakers who are betting on a combination of cameras, LiDAR, and radar. During the call, Musk seemed confident that their method would pay off later this year. Shareholders, in Leo's opinion, will reap substantial rewards if Tesla can implement this plan. This sums up the news about this Tesla buyback. Did you learn something from the video? Do you have any comments or suggestions for us to improve our content? Let us know in the comments. If you like this video, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe.